in the morning, every morning or any morning that you choose, you don't have to talk to God. You don't have to check in and see what's going on for the day. You don't have to listen to what he may have to say or you don't have to ask him about your day. As a matter of fact, you don't have to spend time with God every morning. And you know what? Your day will probably be okay. It's kind of like checking in with the weather though, you know. You don't have to listen to the weather report in the morning. You don't have to listen to the weather report the day before. You could go out in your day and go walking for maybe, oh, I don't know, a couple miles, maybe more. You could plan a hiking trip today, you know, and go out and hike in the day. Because after all, you are doing as you choose to do. And you can do anything you want to do. But you know what's interesting is that today's weather report says that it's going to be over 100 degrees. And based upon yesterday's weather report being over 100, I have a pretty strong suspicion that today's going to be hotter than it was yesterday because they said so. So I like checking in to see what the weather is like because, you know, I really don't want to go out and hike in that kind of weather. I kind of plan my day according to the information that I take in, according to the wisdom that I've been given about what the day will be like. I kind of operate with what information I do have. And if I didn't have that information, I might go out and try to hike in that 100 degree weather. And I might succeed. Maybe. But you know, today, I don't think I'm going hiking. As a matter of fact, I don't think I'm going outside today that much at all. Maybe to record some messages, but other than that, I think I'm going to stay inside where the air conditioning is. So you see, I can choose to operate according to the information that I have learned about today, or I could ignore it completely and go my way. But I choose today to do with what God has showed me the day will be like. And that's kind of what you can do today. You can operate according to your own understanding, or you could go according to God's planning. And it's your own decision whether you go by your understanding or God's plan, planning. No matter what, for you shall go out from spiritual exile. Boy, these glasses, I'm getting blinder. I need to get my other glasses. No matter what, but you shall go out from spiritual exile caused by sin and evil into the homeland with joy and be led forth by your leader, the Lord himself and his word, with peace. The mountains and the hills shall break forth before you with singing, and all the trees of the fields shall clap their hands. Isaiah 15:12. Peace is not dependent upon circumstances. Thank God. Our peace and joy are found in the Holy Spirit, Jesus said. He who believes in me who cleaves to and trusts in me and relies on me, as the scripture has said, from his innermost being shall flow continuously springs and rivers of living water. But he was speaking here of the Holy Spirit, whom those who believed and trusted and had faith in him were afterwards to receive. They had not yet received it. John 7, 38 and 39. No matter what is going on today, you can drink from your own well with of joy through the indwelling presence of God's Spirit. You see, if you have, as it were, the Spirit of God in you, then you can drink from cisterns of living water because God is always filling you with joy and peace and love. Because that's what His nature is. Joy, peace, and love. As long as you are in contact with God. But you see, even the Spirit of... <clears throat> even the Spirit of God requires you to be in contact with God. Otherwise, would you know if the Spirit of God was not within you? Would you be yielding yourself to walking in the Spirit? Would you be even considered to be full of the Spirit if you ignored what he had to say? Every day, that's our choice. 
do we choose to operate according to what we've heard, what we've seen, and what we've handled with our own hands? Are we going our own plans and not God's will? There's always your will to be done, but it's your choice which way you'll go. If you operate according to the Spirit of God, you'll have peace. If you operate according to the Spirit of man, God help you. Because there's no telling what you might get yourself into.